Hello, I'm Ivan. In this video, I am going to show you how to make the origami iris. Origami is Japanese for cut, um, for folding paper, and this is what we actually are doing. We are folding paper. Um, for origami, um, I think um started out in Japan. I don't really know. But because it's um, translated to Japanese, uh, I think it started out in ja Japan. Let's start making this. First, I am going to start with a square paper. It's not exactly square. I cut it from a printing paper, but it's close to a square. It doesn't matter what size, unless um, unless it's too small, because. Um, this one's too hard to make if it's too small. Let's start. First, you turn the paper into a diamond like this. Then you fold it like that in half. And then, do the other side. Yeah. Next, then you do, you, what you do is, you fold it in half, and then, you open it, then you push one part of this, you push this up, then you push this down, you get the other side of that square and square, and then you flatten it in the other side, and then there is this open area. Then next what you're going to do is you're going to take this square and then flatten it. And then finally what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to turn the paper like that and then oh, and then it makes this shape and then flatten it. That is called the squash fold. Okay? Now we have this Okay, make sure the open end is at top. And then, because that is the only way you can do it. You can't do it like this because you need the top because it is free. You can, you can get the flaps out, you know? Okay, first you're going to do that. You're going to fold it like this and make it so it lines up with the, the crease that you made. And then you reach the inside, you grab it, and then you, you turn it, just half of it, and then, you see? And then you squish it, and you get this. Next what you're gonna do is you're going to fold that like this. So it reaches the center. And then, next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold the whole thing in half. Mm -hmm. Then, you're going to take, you're going to take this and then you're going to get the flaps out you know, and then flatten them, flatten them. Okay. Do this for all four sides. Now that we got all four sides um, made into this diamond shape, now, now what we're gonna do is we're going to go here. Now we're gonna turn it to this part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you fold the bottom part, not the top part where it's open. And then you fold it to the center. And then you do it with the other four sides. Mm 
Um, you can see that is what you do when you, that is what you get when you fold two quantities and then you see this. It's much thinner and that, and you can see that, that is, oh, um, you can fold that. And the iris, um, you can also call it a flower. It's actually, it's a flower, like a petunia and a rose. Um, but, this, uh, this is hard to make because, uh, you, it requires, um, a good, um, someone that's good at folding, um, paper because, uh, there are some squash folds that require, um, some masters to do it. And now you have, when we are finished, you have this. This diamond shape still. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna see, you, you see that this, um, this is the end of it, where it's a, when, when you can open it. Do that, mm -hmm. okay. Then do that on the other side, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it will look like this. Um, well, it looks like uh, something that was in a blender, you know? It blends the. And then, next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, re you're gonna use your thumb to reach inside in the middle. And then there's that opening. Then you fold up the the flaps. And then um, this is optional, but you can do it or not. So you can you can either fold them. Um, you can either curve them to make it look more like an iris. Uh, I'm just doing this for the video. And um, you can see it goes up and then down like a bridge. And then you can also fold it down and then go up. Uh, and uh, the iris um, is hard to make, but it's all worth it when you're done making it. Because it looks very beautiful and you can give this to someone uh, as a gift. Um, for anything like a holiday or a Valentine's Day. And this is what the iris looks like. It's um it has four petals. Mm. Uh just like <clears throat> most origamis. Um but this one has this little Wrap sticking out, which I showed you from before, which are when like that, that, <clears throat> and it looks really nice. You can use this as a decoration in your house, um, for a party or anything that's special, like birthday. Hi, I'm Lemon and thanks for watching this video. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Please watch my videos. Um, it would be an honor.